the new harnesses are the new Momentum and Primrose and the Wiz Kid. The outer material is way more durable. It's way more comfortable, the foam and the inner material. Still track fit, super comfortable. Molded gear loops, speed buckle, our best Momentum to date by far. Unbelievable that you can get a harness that comfortable for 495 last year forever. The Energy Harness is a new addition to the camp line. It's very lean, low profile harness, fixed but adjustable leg loop configuration, the thermo moldable foam. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh, this is like our new ultralight alpine harness that's like right up above the blitz, the go-to harness for kind of a really good, hot, super high-end trad climbing. And then uh, I heard that it was our new price point harness at 50 bucks, and I was like, that's unreal. This is our Mithril, which has adjustable leg loops, fewer gear loops, but is a, a lighter weight version of the Renegade. It's less material, still padded, so it's comfortable. So this will be more aimed at, at sports climbing. So it was really important for us to create a harness that a kid can put on himself and that it feels comfortable in. We have three fully adjustable 15 mm Easy Glide buckles. So smooth and easy that every kid can adjust it himself. Just in case the kid would accidentally tie into a gear loop, these gear loops are made extra strong to the event of a fall actually withstand that force. And there's no, no better kids lead climbing harness on the market. And the Fraggle Full Body Harness is currently the only one of its kind on the market since it provides a lot of padding and comfort and safety for the kid. So when you take this out of your backpack, no matter how tangled it is, you just grab it however and it falls open. It's easy to put on for the kid. One full strength loop in the front and then you have an additional second buckle in the back for different purposes like hiking or skiing. The best parts about that harness for, to me are the packing size, it folds down really small due to the construction, weighs only 320 grams. You have flexible gear loops in the back that don't create pressure points when your backpack is over them. And you have asymmetrical gear loops in the front, so you always have your gear available. Attachment points for ice crew clips on the harness. We try to keep the features as minimal as possible, but also try to add every crucial feature. Gravel's coming out with three new harnesses. This is the Apollo, is the all-around harness. Then you got the Ares harness, which is going to be more of the alpine mountaineering. And the cool feature on this one that differs it from the Apollo is what they call the comfort box. They've structured the way that the harness attaches to the leg loops a little differently to create better comfort so that you don't have the pressure points on the front of your legs and in the crotch area. And then the Poseidon down here is actually one of the first harnesses, or the only harness currently, that is uh, treated with water repellency. So no more wet harness, wet soggy harness, that's then getting your pants soggy, that's then getting your long john soggy. So on top of just the water repellency that the Poseidon has, you can completely remove the leg loops, simplify your system for your bivvies, completely take it off, completely put it on. It allows you to be wearing your crampons or your skis, and you can still quickly put the harness on. We have here first this new Zephyr harness. This is our top-end ultralight line for sports climbing. It's made out uh, with Dyneema webbing. It's uh, very breathable. And we also have a full gear loop here and a smaller, very light uh, backup gear loop. Uh, the finesse harness and the Cirque harness. It's our entry-level harness, but there's really nothing entry-level about it. The Cirque is our men's version. Uh, the finesse is our ladies' version. Four gear loops all the way across the top on both of them and just a very value-packed, comfortable harness that is built in Banner Out, North Carolina. So the turbo harness is our next step up into more of our full-featured harnesses. Quick adjust buckle, we did a full wraparound skin with that snake bite fabric on the fixed leg loops and it's also around the swami on the back in two colorways. Four gear loops all the way around, full strength hull loop in the back um, and then it's a fixed leg loop construction. Two new high-end performance harnesses, the Harundos and the Aquila. Uh, the Harundos has been in the line for some time, but we've completely redesigned it. There's new suspension technology, new materials, everything's different. The Aquila is an all-new harness, 
It's a complement. It's, it's like a sister harness to the Hurindos. It's basically uh, the adjustable leg loop version, the, uh, the machu and the body, the kids sit harness and um, upper torso attachment. Uses a lot of the same technology as Petzl's focus line harnesses in order to kind of bridge that gap and allow you to go from a kid where they need that extra upper body support. We offer the body, which is like a vest style uh, upper body attachment that the rope threads through and it just keeps them upright. Singing Rock has come out with five new sit harnesses. Better materials, better comfort, and then also the articulated rigid gear loops that allow the gear loop to sit a little off from your body, better clipping, better unclipping. They always have the different color belay loop and then they've reinforced the actual tie-in points with a different color webbing. And this is called the dome. Fat, fat leg loops, fat waist belt, giving you the support you need. Multiple gear loops, double belay loops so that you can keep your daisy chains a little more organized. And on the, the dome, you have a double waist belt but only one is the rock and lock. 